Hello again. Um, I've just finished my rereading of the novel and having just completed part eight, I wanted to take a little bit of time to reflect on what the novel seems to be saying about the role of women and how that might be frustrating to modern readers. Um, Kitty uh, in this final part has clearly embraced and leaned into her identity as a mother and that's the primary um, role that she's playing. And if we accept Kitty as Tolstoy's version of an ideal, then the implication there seems to be that this is what women are supposed to be, that they, they find their highest fulfillment um, or that the, uh, the greatest manifestation of femininity is in the act of becoming a mother. And um, I mean, there are certain elements of how Kitty is a mother that actually reflect the, the epiphany that Levin experiences in this last part of um, operating by instinct rather than trying to rationalize everything. Um, at the same time, a lot of people get to this part and they grow very frustrated. Um, I think that if you're a modern reader who's frustrated by Kitty as um, Tolstoy's ideal of womanhood, there are some options for you when you're thinking about, well, does the novel actually unequivocally say that this is the case. Um, first off, you have Dolly, who who is also very motivated by her motherhood, but doesn't necessarily experience it as bliss. Um, it's clear that it's her primary role and that she is most fulfilled by her role as mother. Um, but she also envies Anna's freedom when she goes to visit her um, at, the, at the estate where Bronstein and Anna are staying in the country. I think also that it's a mistake to to be too quick to judge Anna. Uh, I've come across some critiques of this eighth part that suggest that um, Countess Vronskaya, um, Vronsky's mother, when she labels Anna as um, as a bad woman who deserved to meet the fate that she does, that we're just supposed to take this as Tolstoy's view of Anna. And I think that is a complete misreading. Um, the fact that that criticism comes through that character is important. It's the remember back to the beginning of the novel. Uh, Vronsky's mother is known for her series of scandalous affairs. Um, she is not the right person to deliver this criticism of Anna if we're supposed to take it seriously, which means, in my view, that this judgment of her, this quickness to identify her as bad and deserving of her fate, that's also wrong. So yes, Tolstoy seems to think motherhood is good, but Tolstoy also sympathizes 